Do you only want one opinion for something as important as your retirement savings or your financial future? Well, stay tuned because we're going to talk about the value of a second opinion and why it is so, so important. Retiring well, helping you make smart decisions with your money so you can live a better life. Today is the day you can take back control of your money. Retiring well, where we believe your best is yet to come. Hi, welcome to Retiring Well. My name is Larry Flynn and I'm joined here with Mike Reese, founder of our company, by the way. So thanks for being here, Mike. Listen, today we want to talk about um, the value of getting a second opinion. But I first want in this segment, Mike, I want to talk about why people don't go out and get a second opinion, right? Yeah, that's a great issue because, I mean, how often, to you and I, uh, you know, why in the world would you not get a second opinion from someone who is who really specializes in retirement planning? I mean, if you're in retirement, if you're nearing retirement, why wouldn't you? I mean, it's free. There's no obligation. I, I don't get it. Yeah. But, you know, when you really look at it, Larry, and we've talked about this, there are a number of reasons and honestly legitimate reasons that people don't do that, right? right? Now, right. I mean, what were some of those you were mentioning the other day? Well, I think sometimes people are confused, okay? They don't really necessarily know what they have. So how are they going to be able to compare that with something else? Right. You know, how do you go apples? And how do you know who to trust? Well, exactly, right? Um, I think there's, there's so much out there too that you know a lot of times it's like okay there's so much to choose from what which one is right for me yeah you know you it's know? like remember in the old days remember when you and i were in high school and we had to like do research for a paper yes. where would we go to do research to, to to write a paper what would we do oh, we'd go to magazines right? yeah we'd or, or yeah well, and we'd go to the library we'd yep. There is was this thing. By the way, I have a 25-year-old daughter. She's my oldest. She has no idea what I'm about to share, but I know you do. We had this thing, Larry, called the Encyclopedia yes. Britannica. Yes. I think. And yeah. Oh, it was beautiful. It was glorious in all of its volumes. Yes. Uh, but, but the reality is, in those days, the challenge was finding yes. good information. Yes. What's our problem today? It's the exact opposite. Yeah. You just go to Google. Right, and now you've got more information than, than you could ever need. Exactly. How do you know That's what right. information applies to you? How do you know what's good? How do you know what's bad? Especially if you're not knowledgeable about that world. Right. That's right. right. Yeah. So I think a lot of it, Mike, is too much. Inf you know, too much information. What do I choose from? Um, this is this is odd. I've heard this one from people before. Um, I'm friends with my advisor, right? I, yeah. If I if I made a change or he found out or he she found out I went to somebody else, they would be they would be devastated. They would you know, I might offend them. Yeah, yeah. By the way, folks, just so you're aware of it, uh, your advisor is not as close to you typically as you think they are. <laughs> right? <laughs> they, I mean, they 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 some advisors do a great job of. Uh, they do a great job of making you think they're great friends, but uh, honestly, you're one of three or four hundred a lot of times, and a lot that's of times, yeah. that's that's how the real. Now, maybe they're your brother, different story. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. And and I think one of the things that I would share here, and uh, Larry and I talk about this a lot, but you know, the way I like to say it is, it's kind of like, you know, if you're like me, like if I go to a doctor, you know, I don't really know what's going on, I don't really know that world, and I'm just hoping I'm talking to the right person, but. You know, at the end of the day, probably, especially when you see markets drop, probably somewhere in the back of your head, you get that little voice, right? You've got that little voice, and that little voice is just, just nagging you. And it's sitting there saying, hey, are you making, right? Am I making the right decisions here? Am I really making the right decisions? And at Centennial Wealth, really, it's our job to help help you essentially squash that little voice like a bug, right? Because our job is to help you go from a place of, you know, I've got that nagging voice in the back of my head. I'm wondering if I'm making the right decisions mm -hmm. to that place where you can be fully confident, where you can have confidence that you're retiring comfortably, that you're making the right choices so that you can live the best uh, that is in front of you, yeah. right? Yeah. 
Yeah. And that's that's the key. That's what we do. Yeah, Mike. Another one I'll, I'll hear people say is there. You know, I think people feel like if they go get a second opinion, they're gonna get they're gonna feel obligated to do business with that person, right? Right. And I and I know at Centennial Wealth, we welcome people to come in and, and talk with us. You know, we just want to show them, you know, how we're dealing with markets. You know, we want to educate them. Yeah, maybe you're a good fit. Maybe you're not. But you know, no harm. In finding out. No, we're not going to, uh, somebody coming in for a second opinion just wants you to take a look at what they have and maybe what we offer and, and see how that might help them or not. Um, we're not going to obligate them to do business with it. We're going to welcome that opportunity just to be able to talk with them. Sure. And sometimes I know you even tell people, hey, they're in good shape. Uh, good news. You double check things, you're in good shape. No need for us to help you out, correct? That's right. So listen, you know, it, it, we've talked about some reasons why you, you might not want to get a second opinion, but in the next segment, I want to talk about the value of getting a second opinion, you know, what you might get out of a, a situation like that. So stay, stay tuned. Today's retirement challenges can be mastered. Knowledge is power because you can confidently plan ahead and make educated financial decisions for a successful and comfortable retirement. We are Centennial Wealth Advisory, financial advisors, specializing in retirement planning, serving all of Northern Michigan with offices in Traverse City, Cadillac, Petoskey, and Gaylord. And we invite you to an informative and exciting live event with a complimentary gourmet dinner. You'll learn highlights of the new Tax Reform Act, the difference between the fiduciary and suitability standard of care, how an IRA gets taxed to a surviving spouse, how two similar portfolios can end up with two drastically different results, what a bull market is and how long it can last, and much more. Call 888-608-5825 to register and choose the date and location that works best for you. Tuesday, March 12th at the Evergreen Resort in Cadillac. The live event starts at 6 p.m. and is free to attend with a complimentary gourmet dinner to follow. But seating is limited and fills quickly. Call 888-608-5825 to reserve your seats today. There is no cost and no obligation. Don't miss this important live event. Educated Financial Decisions. Call 888-608-5825 today. You don't walk into a doctor's office for some blanket prescription for whatever ails you. You expect individualized attention. A doctor who listens and a treatment prescribed to meet your specific need. When it comes to your financial future, why expect anything less? If you would like an independent checkup from an independent advisor with access to hundreds of possible solutions to help you meet your goals, contact us today. Hi, now welcome back to Retiring Well. Listen, in the first segment, we talked about you know the, the those roadblocks people have and maybe getting a second opinion. But in this segment, we want to talk about the value of getting a second opinion. Mike, what what might be one that come top of mind for you? Well, by the way, uh, we talked a little bit about it in our last segment where we talked about. You, know, you want to move from this place of that nagging voice in the back of your head to a place where you can be fully confident. Mm -hmm. Getting a second opinion from a true fiduciary, someone who truly focuses and specializes on retirement planning, mm -hmm. for those of you who are retired or nearing retirement, that is the absolute best move mm -hmm. you could make because that's what fills you with confidence. The problem, of course, is how do you know if you're really talking to a fiduciary, someone who really has your best interests in mind? Yeah. Larry, what are some of the ways that they could, you know, what questions could they ask? How do they figure that out? Right. Because well, everybody says they're a fiduciary, right? That's right. Well, I think the one way you can tell a true fiduciary is by what kind of questions they ask you, right? Okay. You know, if, I, if I'm walking into a car dealership, right, and I'm looking for a car, and the, the first thing that salesman wants to do is take me to what he thinks 
is what I might want, right? Right. All right, and maybe he shows me the convertible, you know, and the convertible that's fast. But I got a family of three. Yeah. Right? I've got kids, you know, I, I might be looking really at a utility van. Or, how, how does this all apply in the financial world? Because, you know, I read somewhere, I read a study that 80% of people who have advisors believe that their advisors are working in their best interests. Yeah. You and I know that that is not even close to true. No. Uh, so how do they, like, what questions might they ask an advisor, someone they're talking to? If, you, if they were to come in with us, what would they want to see? What do they want to hear? Well, they're, they're going to want to get a full understanding of that person's financial situation, right? What is it they're looking to accomplish as they move towards retirement, right? And then trying to, you know, try to really ascertain, you know, you know how much risk do they want to take you know how much risk do they need to take right? right and then trying to put the proper financial instruments in place that meet that end right yeah by the way something I would add to this whole mix is folks here's the deal let me let me share this with you if you ever come across an advisor here's a quick tip for you who either thinks some product is either always good or always bad right mm -hmm. always good or always bad Run. That is not a fiduciary. That is someone who does not have your best interest at heart. They've got a hidden agenda. So that's a quick tip that if you hear. And here's another quick tip that I know uh, we talk about. Great question to ask. Can I get some client references? If you're working with a true fiduciary, Larry, what do they have to say? They have to say, I can't give up confidentiality, right? Right. It's like, would your doctor or lawyer, if you went to your doctor or lawyer said, hey, could you give me some references of your clients who are happy? Uh, they, the doctor or lawyer would, I mean, we wouldn't even think to ask that question. Gotcha. The reality is any financial advisor who is excited to give you client references, not a fiduciary and someone you should run from. They do not treat confidentiality at the level that they need to in today's world. Yeah, that's right. right? The other thing, Mike, I think people need to recognize is they're talking to that advisor. Um, what what is that advisor? You know, what kind of products do they have? Right? Yeah. It, are they are they just selling some company's products? You know, or or can they sell a vast array of products? Yeah. Do they really have an open platform? Right. Right. Are they independent? Yeah. And I know we wanted to also talk a little bit in this segment about the value of that second opinion it's about giving that confidence making sure you talk to the right people uh, but you know folks at the end of the day in my view the big value of that second opinion from a firm like Centennial Wealth someone who's truly a fiduciary someone who truly focuses and specializes in retirement planning is to help you be make those confident be confident make those right choices those smart choices and you know I want you to think about this I want you to picture a day you know, where you're sitting there with your grandchildren on your lap, you're sharing values, maybe you're playing games with them, and you know that if you want to take them to Disney World, you can, because you've got the financial capability of doing that. I mean, picture that day where your children come to you and just say, Mom, Dad, you know, you've done such a great job with your planning, mm -hmm. right? Could you help us be more like you? Right. Yeah. I mean, that's that just picture that day when you're you're in Europe and you're on that bucket list trip and you're just at the Eiffel Tower or you're in Rome and you're just looking at your spouse and just just it's just the most wonderful day there ever was. Yeah. That's what the second opinion brings you. Yes. Confidence and the ability to live your best that is yet to come. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. So listen, if you're that person that wants a second opinion, listen, no obligation. Um, if we're a fit, great. If we're not, that's fine And too. it's free. And right. it's free, no cost. So encourage you to call the number on the screen. Uh, encourage you to meet with us. Thank you. Today's retirement challenges can be mastered. Knowledge is power because you can confidently plan ahead and make educated financial decisions for a successful and comfortable retirement. We are Centennial Wealth Advisory, financial advisors, specializing in retirement planning, serving all of Northern Michigan with offices in Traverse City, Cadillac, Petoskey, and Gaylord. And we invite you to an informative and exciting live event with a complimentary gourmet dinner. You'll learn highlights of the new Tax Reform Act, the difference between the fiduciary and suitability standard of care, 
how an IRA gets taxed to a surviving spouse, how two similar portfolios can end up with two drastically different results, what a bull market is and how long it can last, and much more. Call 888-608-5825 to register and choose the date and location that works best for you. Tuesday, March 12th at the Evergreen Resort in Cadillac. The live event starts at 6 p.m. and is free to attend with a complimentary gourmet dinner to follow. But seating is limited and fills quickly. Call 888-608-5825 to reserve your seats today. There is no cost and no obligation. Don't miss this important live event. Educated financial decisions. Call 888-608-5825 today. Retiring Well is now also airing on radio, bringing you insights from Northern Michigan's financial advisors specializing in retirement planning. Every Sunday at noon on WTCM AM 580. Don't miss Retiring Well Radio. Every Sunday at noon on WTCM AM 580. Hi, welcome back. Listen, I had my own accounting firm for just over 25 years. I got involved in financial services in the late 90s uh, because I thought it would really fit well with my practice. Now today, I, I, I've since sold my practice and I'm just doing financial services. But I wanna show you something that I used to walk through with a lot of business clients I had um, when, when we were doing planning. And I wanna bring this up because in today's show, we're talking about second opinions, right? We're talking about second opinions. So, you know, if I come in and I'm, I'm, I'm looking at my own strategy, there's some things I wanna look at, I wanna analyze, right? The first thing, I, and I call this a SWOT analysis, okay? <laughs> Again, this is what we used to do with the businesses. But the first thing I wanna do is, is identify my strengths. What, what's good about my planning? You know, I, I've got my income plan, I got my estate plan, I got my tax plan, I got my long-term care health care plan, I got my investment plan, right? My strategy. What are all my strengths of my plan? Let's let's walk through those. Let's talk about them. Matter of fact, let's list them out. What's good about my plan? And then let's talk about the weaknesses of my plan. What if I have a 2008 come along? The market drops to half its value. Um, maybe the same as 2000 through 2002, right? Is my plan ready for that? If not, is that potentially a weakness? Um, do I maybe have two, do maybe have my eggs all in one basket? Maybe I haven't, you know, maybe I haven't spread that out. Maybe I haven't what we call diversified it enough. You know, but what's my weaknesses? Let's identify those, let's list them out. And then let's look at what are our opportunities? What are, what are some opportunities out there? Um, you know, do, do, have I got a second opinion? Have I gone out there and talked to somebody else? You know, what are, what are other people doing to, to handle um, what we find out there in the marketplace? You know, um, is there opportunities out there that I don't know about? And, and should I go look for them? Um, so let's identify those. Maybe, maybe I have or maybe I haven't. And then let's look at what are some threats, right? Um, what are some things that could happen that it might affect my plan? You know, what if, again, the market drops to half its value? Am I prepared for that? Um, we've been in a declining interest rate market for almost 40 years, right? In 1980, the 10-year treasury was six, just under 16%. Fast forward to about you know, a year and a half ago, it hit a historic low of 1.36%, right? We've been in a declining interest rate market. Now we're entering a rising interest rate market. How's my, how's my plan gonna account for that? Because remember, when interest rates rise, bond values can go down. 
So these are threats now, right? In a rising interest rate market, what is that going to do to my bond funds if I have any? All right. Again, what's it going to ha what's going to happen if the market drops to half its value? We've seen that now in the last couple decades. It happened twice. Now this bull market we're in, it's maturing. I mean, many would agree. And, and, and recessions are cyclical. You'll have periods of expansion followed by periods of contraction. So again, what's the threats? What are my opportunities? You know, what are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? Let's, let's look at that. We call this the SWOT analysis, but let's write them down. And then let's put a plan together to go out and identify what I need to do to change that situation. Again, uh, the value of a second opinion is going out there and finding out who's doing what and, and, and maybe that might be better than what I have. So I encourage you, if that's somebody like you that wants to, you know, maybe has a question in any, any of these areas, I, I, I encourage you, come in and visit with us. Be glad to, you know, maybe identify some of these, show you how we're handling things. So give us a call. Today's retirement challenges can be mastered. Knowledge is power because you can confidently plan ahead and make educated financial decisions for a successful and comfortable retirement. We are Centennial Wealth Advisory, financial advisors, specializing in retirement planning, serving all of Northern Michigan with offices in Traverse City, Cadillac, Petoskey, and Gaylord. And we invite you to an informative and exciting live event with a complimentary gourmet dinner. You'll learn highlights of the new Tax Reform Act, the difference between the fiduciary and suitability standard of care, how an IRA gets taxed to a surviving spouse, how two similar portfolios can end up with two drastically different results, what a bull market is and how long it can last, and much more. Call 888-608-5825 to register and choose the date and location that works best for you. Tuesday, March 12th at the Evergreen Resort in Cadillac. The live event starts at 6 p.m. and is free to attend with a complimentary gourmet dinner to follow. But seating is limited and fills quickly. Call 888-608-5825 to reserve your seats today. There is no cost and no obligation. Don't miss this important live event. Educated financial decisions. Call 888-608-5825 today. Have you ever heard of the 5% rule? Simple. Consistently earn 5% each year and then take 5% as income. Great, but in this new economy and market volatility, does it work? If I need 5% as income from my savings and the market drops 30% in one year, then the 5% I need now turns to 7.1%. Now I have to consistently get 7.1% or more or drop my income accordingly. If interested in a properly structured income plan, then please call the number on the screen. Welcome back to Retiring Well. Art Canfield, John Torbett here with you this week, Senior Partners, Financial Advisors with Centennial Wealth Advisory right here in Traverse City, um, also serving other areas across Northern Michigan as well here. And this week, you know, I think John, both of you and I had some meetings this week that really, as we talked about these, these segments and stuff that have been going on here that, that spoke to us on how we wanted to talk about this. Right. And it's one of those things where you don't have to just accept what's been put in front of you. You know, know there's always other options out there that you can change your situation at the right. end of the day. You don't just have to do what somebody is telling you to do if it doesn't feel right and make sure that something matches up with what you want to do. And sometimes I see people just going along with it because that's what's happening and they feel like they got to accept it. John, I, a fun story I think here, it makes me think of a time you and I, great buddies since we've been little kids, five years old basically, kindergarten, lived together in college. I think back to, do you remember the time in college when we were having some roommate issues oh, yeah. in the, the issue? And I oh, wouldn't say yeah. issues because they're still friends of ours, but oh, yeah. maybe just uh, some struggles. Yeah, so Art and I, like Art said, we've been buddies since we were just little kids, and so we went to school down at Grand Valley here in Michigan and, and roomed together. And, and we, we found that uh, 
the dishes were starting to pile up in the sink and, and that wasn't acceptable. So we, we agreed, okay, let's come up with something creative. So we had created a, a picture of Mr. T, if you remember Mr. T from the A-Team and put a little note saying, I pity the fool who doesn't do, clean their dishes. And uh, so we thought that might catch their attention we'll finally sure. to, to say, okay, Hey guys, we, we you need to clean your dishes, and I think it it sort of resonated with them a little bit. But uh, I think we still ended up doing most Probably. of the dishes. But Probably. but uh, it's so it's so true. I mean, a lot of times people are coming coming in and they're saying, "Well, I I don't know what other options there are. I've I've had these investments for a while. My advisor maybe told me, "Nope, this is this is this is just the way it's going to be." And you know, you think of the examples where I think you were talking to a couple that they were saying. We just don't want any risk. They're tired of it. And, right. and well, it was interesting because um, I met with this fantastic couple just the other day. They were mid 60s, getting ready to retire, been business owners, and, and just fantastic. Did all the right things through okay. life, basically. Had did a great job saving. They've kept their expenses low, no debt. I mean, just a wonderful situation. And they said, you know what? We really just don't want risk. You know, we don't see that we need to. We walked through the analysis and stuff, and they really didn't need to take on a lot of risk. I mean, they, at their spending, and they, so we started looking at their portfolio, and, and I was quite shocked to basically learn that the advisor that had set them up on this plan, they were taking, I would call them a moderate aggressive mix. Now these, these folks haven't felt it because the markets have been fairly favorable over the years. Now all of a sudden they got their end of the year statement uh, would be for what was that, 2018 just sure. recently, and were shocked to learn that they lost money when they thought they were conservative or thought they were safe. So, you know, I told them, you know, you don't have to just accept what's given to you, and it's really important that you understand what you have, and there's options out there. Oh, and that's, and that's one of the things, Art, that I found that I enjoy working at Centennial Wealth Advisory is having that independence to know, okay, we can shop around all, all the different investment worlds and everything and try and find what is really going to come back to meeting your expectations and, and how much risk uh, maybe that you're comfortable with if you're telling us, okay, I'm, I'm tired of the stock market. I don't want to deal with the day-to-day -day ups and downs and everything. Okay, let's look at some alternatives. There are other options that we can evaluate and, and see if that might be a better fit for your comfort level. Right. I mean, because it comes back to um, a lot of cases are, like you said, people are, don't necessarily need to be taking on as much risk as, as maybe they're taking, especially as they draw closer to retirement. Yeah, John, I think too, you know, when you look at your investment statement and you see what's going on, if you don't truly understand what you have, there's a problem. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, if you don't fully know what the advantages and what the disadvantages that investment is gonna be, then you, you're gonna be surprised at some point. Sure. You're either gonna be disappointed because it didn't make enough, or you're going to be disappointed because it lost you more than you thought you were, or somewhere in between, possibly. So it's really important to be educated on that. So for you sitting out there, and maybe you, you're not 100% sure what you have, that's why we say, what, isn't it worth just having somebody else take a second look at that? Isn't it worth sitting down and really taking your retirement and your investments serious? And that way, you have the comfort of knowing that you at least uh, have great expectations one way or the other what may happen and can understand both positive and negative is of, of what those investments can do. Give us a call. We'd love to walk through that with you and have a great rest of your week.